Sorry, no going back now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't like that. patch missing. That one short side, one long side. <laughs> Decided we would do it last year. Uh, we at least thought about it, uh, but we weren't quite there for the length. Uh, and so we decided to wait a year, grow it out, and then we reevaluated this year and we realized that we were both kind of getting sick and tired of it. Yeah. And we wanted to donate for a good cause, so we uh, kind of got in touch with the Cancer Care Society, uh, uh, found out what we needed from them, and uh, yeah, decided to donate the hair to make a wig. Uh, and along with that, when we were stuck in Calgary, we uh, started a GoFundMe page and we've been raising money uh, the last three weeks for that. And my grandma got breast cancer uh, four years ago now. Uh, she's beaten it like she's she's good but it's still like it's a scary thing um actually a teammate this year his mom uh got diagnosed with the illness uh is doing well as well but um you know it's not every day that you hear like the positive stories and regardless we just wanted to you know use our personal experiences and help raise awareness uh for everyone Uh, definitely a lot lighter. It's definitely more manageable. Uh, it's not going to be any hair in my mouth while I'm eating and, and things like that. And there's definitely a nice cool breeze on my ears and, and it's a lot, it's colder. I'm not going to lie, it's colder. So, um, no, it's, it's, that's how it feels. But, uh, you know, it was, it was quite a good feeling seeing all the hair in that bag after uh, Jonah, Liam and myself cut our hair. And um, it's nice to see that happening and, and it's nice to know that someone's going to be happy about receiving a wig out of this. So. Um, no, there's there's two different feelings. There's the there's the haircut, and then there's the actually donating the hair for a good cause. Uh, there's been cancer throughout my family. You know, aunties, uncles, grandparents, everyone's. It's it's kind of in my family. Um, there's a chance I'll have it in the future, or one of my brothers. You know, there's three of us, and with the amount that it's been in our family, then you know you, you could see it kind of happening in the future. So you never know. Um, but uh, no, we've, we've had our teammates affected by it, friends affected by it. So, you know, it's just kind of one of those things where everywhere you look, it's, it's there. Um, there's people fighting it. There, it takes so much courage to fight it. And, you know, it's just kind of one of those things where they have the courage to fight an illness like that. We can, we can cut our hair and do a small little bit to help out.